Welcome to another lesson in the TI 30X Plus Math Print Student course. In this lesson, we show how to use the calculator to help answer a bivariate stats question. The example is as follows. The length measurements correct to the nearest centimetre of the femur bone and humerus bone of a particular species of fossil are shown in the following table. Note that the femur lengths are represented by variable X and humerus lengths are represented by the variable Y. Part A asks us to determine the line of best fit, giving our answer in the form Y equals AX plus B, expressing A and B correct to two decimal places. And Part B asks us to use the line of best fit found in Part A to estimate the length of a humerus bone of this species of fossil, whose femur length is 48 centimetres, giving our answer correct to the nearest centimetre. Our first step is now to enter the data into the calculator. To do this, we press data and it takes us to the lists. Now, if you are required to clear any of the lists, then press data again and then scroll down to clear all and press enter or just press four. And what that will do is it will clear your lists of any existing data. So we have a clean slate and now let's enter the data for femur lengths and humerus lengths. So we start with the femur, and so I'm entering the data. I'm pressing enter uh, each time. You can also press the uh, down arrow also. That will work the same way. So the five femur lengths have been entered into L1. We now press arrow to the right, takes us to the top of L2, where we can enter the humerus lengths. So we will do that now, 71, uh, 64, uh, 73, uh, 42, and 85. Okay, so our data is now in the list and we now have an opportunity to analyze it. So what we do now is to access the stats menu, we press second data and we are after a command that will find up for us the line of best fit. So if we scroll down, we see that number four, LINREG is short for linear regression. And next to it, you can see AX plus B. And that's the command we wish to access. So at this stage, you can either press four or press enter. And it takes us to our linear regression setup page. Now, FEMA links are represented by X and they're in L1, so that's fine. Humerus lengths are represented by variable Y and they're in L2, so that's fine. The frequency is one. So by pressing down each time, I've now got to regression equation. And we have an option here to store our regression equation if we need to use it. And we do need to use it in this example. So we press arrow to the right to highlight F of X press enter and it cursor now goes to calc which is short for calculate press enter and we get our uh, result for our line of best fit notice here that a is 1.196 etc and b is negative 3.856 etc so the line of best fit corrected two decimal places is given by y equals 1.20x minus 3.86. To put this into context, the humerus length is equal to 1.20 times the femur length minus 3.86. Now to answer part B, we want to use this line of best fit to estimate the length of a humerus bone whose femur length is 48 centimetres. So we want to find the value of y when x is equal to 48. So the calculator has stored for us this line of best fit. We just need to find it. Where we can find it is by pressing table. And it takes us to the function table menu. If we press one or enter, we can see there that that is the location where our line of best fit has been stored. You can see most of the value for, of A there. 
Now, if I press arrow up, we have a command here, which is denoted by F open bracket. And we're going to use that command. So we want to paste F open bracket onto the home screen. What we want to do now is we want to enter the value 48 and press the close bracket key. So what that is signifying is that we're estimating the length of a humerus bone whose femur length is 48. So in other words, we are substituting X equals 48 into our line of best fit. And we press enter and that's our value. And so correct to the nearest centimeter, the length of a humerus bone of this species of fossil whose femur length is 48 centimeters turns out to be 54 centimeters. We've shown you one way how to do part B. The calculator has another way of doing part B. And this time we're going to use two variable stats. So if we press second data and then press three for two variable stats, and we can see there our X data and our Y data and our frequency, they're all set up nicely. So we press enter, enter um, with the cursor flashing over calc, which is short for calculate, we press enter and we get into our two variable statistics. Now, if we scroll up rather than down, we find Y dashed open bracket. Now, Y dashed open bracket allows us to use A and B to calculate a predicted Y value when you input an X value. So if we now press enter, that pastes Y dashed open bracket onto the home screen. We now enter 48, press the close bracket key, press enter, and we get the same uh, result. So that's showing you a second way of doing part B. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.